Hello everyone. In this video, I'll show how to upgrade memory in the Gateway Desktop Computer Model SX2803. It is the slimline computer, which is the one you see on the right hand side of the screen. The model SX2803 comes in different uh, sub variations and the one I have is US20P. Every computer has a maximum limit of the memory we can install in it. How much I can install in this computer uh, depends on its system specifications. Now I don't have that original documentation that came with the computer so I'm going to try to look it up online. Oh, definitely this is my computer uh, and that's the model number and it has all the specs here and so if I scroll down I'm looking for memory or RAM so here is oh here's what it is um, comes installed with four gigabytes maximum is eight gigs and this is the type of memory it uh, takes and the type of memory I need to buy DDR3 SD RAM. let's find out how much memory this computer currently has installed and if there's any room for expansion now, we'll find it by going to system information that we can retrieve by going into the search bar, which is the lower left corner at the bottom of the screen. You can type here system information. That's in Windows 10. If you're going to go type that right now, system information, as we are doing that, it uh, comes right up here. I'm going to go and click on that. Here is the information that the has lower come section up. of the system information tells me that I have four gigabyte of memory installed right here. This is what I was looking for. The next step from here is to open the computer and look at uh, how many expansion slots do we have. This is what the inside of the computer looks like and we're looking for memory expansion slots which are right here uh, the blue and the black ones crazy way that they have uh, put this uh, DVD drive up here I think you can lift it if you're gonna move them you can lift a little bit there you go it makes a little bit of extra space here are the two memory slots that are taken in the two that are available which means that I need to get um, four gigabytes and two gigabyte each. It's time to buy the additional memory. I don't have a preferred vendor, so I'm gonna go on Amazon and type in my model number of the computer. A bunch of results. So I found up. this crucial brand of memory. I've had good luck with this particular brand. It also matches uh, the specifications, 240 pin and it has 629 reviews and they're high reviews and it's 13 dollars uh, so i'm going to look into this so on this page amazon gives a very good option to check the fit uh, whether this is going to fit my particular computer uh, so i'm going to type in my computer model here that's a gateway computer sx2803 us20p uh, right here uh, I think this one and this fits my computer this is perfect so I need two of these so I'm gonna get that and um, I'll put a link in the description of the video in just in case you're interested in this so I'm gonna change that to quantity and buy it here is the new memory I received and I'm going to now start installing it one of the things I'm gonna do is remove these cables so they should easily come off and just So this opens up space for me to uh, insert the memory in the open base. So this divider here, I'm going to keep that on the top end of it. And this goes in the open channel that we have here. Corners, slides right in. Okay, push that down. Okay, good. 
other open slot. Keep that open. Then next it goes here. And put that in this channel as well. Get yours connected clearly. Close down. And close the tabs. I think technically, I mean, when I push it down, it should uh, the tab should automatically close. Let's see if they do. Yeah, they do. Okay, and now connecting the cables back. This one goes here, and the other one goes up here. Now I had uh, pulled the. Uh, DVD drive a little bit so uh, and it has a little room to come up that uh, freed up space for me to install the memory now that's done I'm gonna push this down okay hopefully no cutting any wires awesome this uh, moves away from the fan we're good with everything in place here, um, push this DVD drive down, memory is installed, I'm gonna put the cover back on here, and now we can put these screws back. that the computer has powered back on. Um, moment of truth, let's find out if the computer has accepted the memory. So I'm gonna go right in the search bar again and type system information. And let's find out. So at the bottom of the screen, I am looking for installed memory. And here it says installed memory, eight gigabytes. Fantastic. Thank you for watching.